Happy Lunar New Year, everybody. Uh, Overwatch has done a lot of new stuff for the uh, Lunar New Year. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen it yet, please check it out. My previous video, I did a cosmetics loot box unboxing video. Um, and if you guys didn't hear, I brought back for a limited time the Suzba t-shirt. I'll have the link to that down below. Um, and it's only going to be available until the end of the month, February 28th. And after that, it is gone forever. So if you would like to support the channel, please consider buying a shirt. They're only $20 and they come in women's and men's cuts. Uh, but today I thought it would be really fun to do a tour of the new map they've added to Overwatch for Capture the Flag. It is for uh, the Lunar New Year only. Um, and I guess maybe occasionally if... Uh, capture the flag shows up in the arcade um, so that would be fun to do like a walkthrough of that map today and show you guys a little bit more detail like I did with the Blizzard World map when that came out um, and a lot of people were asking me how I did that walkthrough so I thought I would show you how to uh, set up a game where you can just walk around the map and enjoy it uh, so you're going to go to play game browser and you're going to hit create so here you can play other games that people make but this would be if you're making your own version so I'm going to set to invite only. Um, so you can invite your friends, but I like to put it invite only because uh, then I don't have random people joining our game. Then I'm going to go to settings, and I'm going to go to modes, and I'm going to turn on capture the flag because otherwise it won't show up in the maps list. And then I'm going to go to maps, none, so that it deselects all of them. And I'm going to go to the new map, which is Ayuntaya. I, I'm butchering that. Uh, and I think that is it. Yeah. Okay, so that's the only map we're going to use. Going to hit create new game. And we're going to hit start. So it's going to enter us into that game after it loads it up. Welcome to Aintaya. Aintaya. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on a nice tour guide skin for you guys. This sexy new Widowmaker. So there's two, um, of course, the spawn rooms. And this is the ancient side because there's going to be one side that's ancient like this, like you're in an old temple. And then the other side is a lot more modern. Um, it's almost like a modern day Thailand look. Um, and of course, yes, if you guys didn't notice, the location of this map is Thailand. Um, so we have lots of elephants and temples and uh, it was like Tibetan flags, which aren't, but you know what I mean. Um, it's just very Thailand centric, I would say. It basically has everything that I would think of being in Thailand in this map. It's very beautiful. Um, so this is a spawn room, uh, which I don't think you're in here very long, you know. Um, there's actually uh, no sky up here. It's just a uh, white uh, frame. So you can't even like jump up there to look look at it. Yeah, it's just it's just like a white picture. There's no sky box or anything up there. There's some particles in the air, but they're in the room in general in here. Uh, but yeah, that's this room. You can shoot these guys down, I believe. No, uh, you can on another map. I think the Blizzard World map, you can shoot those down. Uh, but of course, there's many different paths you can take to get to uh, the flags. Here's the flag here. Of course, you could just go straight through the middle. But if you're running out and you want to attack your flag or save your flag from the enemy team, you can go either way. I love this like little like water pond around our flag. Uh, and then if you're Farah, of course... Um, you can actually fly pretty far back here um, and then go around to the other flag and then try... Uh, I don't think you can fly back with it, but... Oh, yeah, you can, but I don't think you can boost. Um, because this year they did something a little bit different with the flags. Um, before you had to stand on it to capture it and like a little like circle would show up in the middle and it'll slowly fill up as you're capturing the flag. And then anytime anybody hit you, uh, the counter would have to start back over for you to capture the flag. This year, all you have to do is just touch the enemy flag and then you capture it, uh, which sucks. Um, and if you use any movement ability like Soldier's Run or Farah's Boost or Diva's Boost, uh, you automatically drop the flag. So you can only walk as fast as your character can walk like normal. Um, which is why it's very important to have a Lucio on your team if you're playing Capture the Flag competitively uh, because a Lucio can speed boost you while you're carrying the flag. But you cannot be a Lucio and speed boost while holding the flag, if that makes any sense. 
Um, so yeah, that is a little bit about the capture of the flag this year. And of course, um, as soon as you have the enemy flag and you get back to your base, you have a point. And once you have three, you win the game. Um, but of course, people can kill you and make you drop your flag. And then the way you retrieve your flag is that you stand on it and you have to wait for that loading circle to show up slowly. And then it gets sent back to your side. I'll, I'll explain all of this while I'm playing it, though, so you guys can kind of understand that a little bit more. Um, because I don't know if you guys just noticed I just said that, but there is competitive capture the flag this year, um, just like there is competitive Lucio Ball. And I highly recommend everybody doing their placements for that. There's 10 placement matches for that, but you still get competitive points that you can use towards getting a gold weapon in Overwatch. So if you're one of those people who really likes to collect the gold weapons, like I said, I already have like three of them, uh, you definitely want to do that to get those competitive points so you can use to buy that weapon. Um, but yeah, here's a little bit more detail in this map. Of course, you can go underneath to try and get to the other side. You got a mega pack down here. It's so gorgeous, though. I love the ancient side way more than the modern side. So yeah, you have a lot of angles to attack from if you're trying to come up here and steal the flag from the enemy team. Uh, and then in front here, we got this big old elephant statue. Love it. God, could you imagine all the sculpting work that goes into this? I can't even imagine. It's so gorgeous. Um, so this is the main courtyard. As you can see, it's also the transition between the ancient map to the modern map. So this is how it leads into the enemy flag. There it is right there. As you can see, the map is very tiny. The elephant actually marks the middle of the map. Uh, that is the middle point. Um, and the map's completely symmetrical. Uh, so let's take a look at the modern side. Over here, there's an art gallery with art pieces that I don't really get. I'm not really big into these pieces. Though. They look like they like the, the uh, colors of characters, though. Like, this is totally like Genji, Farah. Like, Widowmaker. Maybe that's, like, a Freudian test, though. It's, like, Tracer. I don't know if that's intentional. I'm just saying that it looks like that to me. Um, and then there's another Mega Pack here. Joyous Day. And it's, like, a super modern hotel, I would say. It's gorgeous. Look at this, like, plant wall covering. Love it. Uh, and then here's, like, their uh, cyber cafe business lounge for a hotel. It's a small pack down here. And here is the enemy spawn. If you are loading up in the modern side of the map of Ayantatha. Ayantatha? I can't pronounce it. Uh, gosh, everything is so beautifully textured. Someone left their iPad on this chair or whatever that is. No one can hide from us. Uh, and then here is the enemy flag. So I'll show you guys when you capture it, you have to... Oh, I wonder if it won't let me do it because it's just me in this map. Yeah, if I was actually playing, you'd just stand on it and you would grab it. But I'm not really in a game mode because there's no enemy team. So you would grab it and then you would run to your side as fast as you can. Oh, look at that bug. <laughs> Did you guys see the bug? Uh, it looks like the curtain rings. Shadows are showing up on the wall, but not the curtain itself. So that's an interesting bug right there. Very eye-catching. Blizzard, what gives? Fix your bugs. This map just came out. How did nobody notice? Um, so yeah, that, that just looks like ones and zeros. Uh, and then you can see forever out into the temple yard. Gorgeous views. They create all of this from nothing, guys. Like, just for this map. It's gorgeous. Um, but of course, this isn't the only capture the map flag. This is just the new one they've added this year. They also have Lijong Tower redone to be Lunar New Year style. Um, and a couple other different maps that you can do capture the flag on. But this is just the one that's new for this year. And like I said, I adore it. I love this old, worn outside. It's just gorgeous. I love all of the green and like the like floating particles and like the roots. It's like it's just been forgotten. There's no flowers in the water in this side, but there are on the other side, which seems kind of artificial, right? But 
yeah, that's a new map. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys are excited to play Capture the Flag on this map, because I freaking am. I've already done my placements uh, for Capture the Flag competitive on this map, and I got placed in Plat, which honestly, like, it's not that surprising because I have Plat in regular competitive. I used to be Diamond, but I've fallen to Plat. Um... And I'm sure if you really grind it at it, you could get to diamond very easily. And if you get diamond, then I think you automatically get enough points to get a gold weapon. Um, so if you're really good at capture the flag, it might be worth doing that and then just getting your golden weapon and dropping it. Um, because like I said, it's only seasonal uh, unless they just randomly throw it back in the arcade, which they've been known to do. Um, but the arcade changes every week. Um, and also, if you do your capture the flag placements, I believe it counts as doing your arcade games for the week because... Every three games you win, you get a loot box up to, I think, three or four loot boxes a week. Um, so just doing your placements gets you a lot right now for Capture the Flag. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think uh, and what you would like to see me do for the next video. And please be sure to that subscribe button and maybe consider getting one of the Kitty Cat Gaming Suzva shirts. Like I said, they're only available until February 28th and then they're gone forever. Um, but I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody.